Hey guys, Beast here. Well, guess what? I'm actually back up near Mount Hood for a friend of mine's wedding. We were camping in the adventure van. If you can tell, the light is getting low outside. Beautiful sunset happening. And that also means time to pull in the sunlights. Uh, the review today is a BioLite product called the Sunlight. It is a really cool little camping light. As you can tell, it's got a little solar panel on it. You know, this thing's not going to charge your bus, but it charges this thing very effectively about six, seven hours. Um, I know it's charged because it's got a small little on button here. If I turn this guy on, wait a second, I turn it off, it's going to give me a notification flash. That green flash lets me know it's fully charged. If it was yellow or red, it would mean that it's getting low and needs a little more sunshine. If I don't have any sunshine, there is a USB port on the bottom that lets me charge that via USB. But I've never really run out of this. Now, talk about the modes again. Single button top, on top. Uh, one press gets you white mode. Double press gets you color mode, and the third one gets you party mode. And this sort of phases through the colors. And I gotta be honest, I've never used this. Not once. So another click gets you off. Again, it'll flash, let me know that it's fully charged. Uh, the color mode, two clicks in, uh, holds that color. And if I press and hold, it'll just phase through multiple colors. So I can kind of get the hue. And you photographers out there, I actually really like this. I've been using this in some really cool photography lately. As you can see, I kind of light myself up, under light, over light, very soft diffuse light. Uh, you can't really tell, but there's actually four separate LEDs going through this diffuse lens. I really like it. My only gripe with this is I can't change the luminosity. I can't ramp up or ramp down that color. So I have to just basically move it away or towards the subject. Um, another click, it's off, it'll give me the green flash. Now, the main mode you're gonna use all the time is just one click in, and this is just white mode. Now, when you're in white mode, if you press and hold, just like in color mode, it's either gonna ramp up, and this is gonna get you up to 100 lumens of nice diffuse light. It's gonna blink to let you know you are at your maximum. And then if you press and hold it again, it's gonna go all the way down into low mode, and it'll give you another blink to affirm that you are as low as it can go. Some of the design features on there, again, I'll throw in some quick photos, but you've got a kickstand, and it's essentially 360 degree kickstand. You can rotate it all the way up. It does have a little hanging hook. Again, I'll put a photo in. It fits tent guy lines, um, fits wires here in the bus, so you can angle this thing straight down. Nice, beautiful diffuse light. I used it a couple weekends ago. It was my main cooking light hanging off of, I think, a 12 gauge wire that's in the bus right now because I haven't finished the bus. The only thing I've added to this is just a little S-Beaner. See if the camera can focus on that, but just a little Night Eyes S-Beaner, standard backpacking affair. And that's only because when I put this on my backpack or onto a bag, I just wanted something a little bit more secure, that little sort of C-claw that it comes with. I just didn't feel like it would stay um, and I didn't want to lose it on the trail. So um, that's really the only thing I've added to this. Again, I'll put in a quick shot here of some of the uh, features. The neatest feature on there is they call it the analog sundial. And it's this little guy here in the corner, and I'll put in a shot, but as sun comes through the corner, it illuminates a dot on the bottom, so you can literally line this up perfectly to get maximum sunshine. So that's why I said, never really worried about running out of power, because this thing will get you 50 hours plus on low, and I would say on average I'm getting just over three hours on high. If I use those 100 lumens all the time, again, the only time I've been doing that is honestly using it for photography or when I was getting ready inside the bus or cooking late night or early mornings um, when you really, it's nice to just kind of illuminate everything. I do have two of these guys and two of these is perfect, but it isn't too big or cumbersome. Like you can literally carry this in your hand. It illuminates a trail very well. Um, you know, it's not a headlamp, but it's a really cool product. It's got that USB function on the back uh, and the solar built in that I'm not worried about how many double A's did I use my headlamp or my lamp last time? You know, is it fully charged? Do I need to bring extra double A's or triple A's? It's drop proof to somewhat. Um, it is IPX4 rated. 
uh, which basically means you can it's made for the outdoors. You can leave this thing outside in the rain. Just don't go swimming with it. Um, as you can tell, I've been using this thing for a while. I've been bouncing around. Some of the close-up shots, you're going to see the logos kind of scratched off these. Um, it's a really cool tool. It doesn't cost a whole lot. I'll put a link down below. Um, BioLite, they nailed this one. This is one of my favorite lanterns that I've tested in a really long time. It's just so easy to use and to recharge. It's always ready. Quick and easy review, sunlight, bottom line, go buy it. You won't be disappointed. I love this thing. I'm gonna put a link down in the description and I uh, hope you take care. Let me know what you guys are using for a lantern because this thing has been rocking my world last couple months. I really enjoyed this thing. It's just stupid simple. It's always ready, it's always charged and it's lightweight and it works. What else do you need? Uh, really cool for some really neat photography. If you guys are into tune night photography or just getting out in the neck of the woods, I know you'll enjoy it. Wander Beast, sunlight from BioLite. We'll see you guys down the road. Thanks for all the love and support. You guys are amazing. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow the adventure on social media, and we'll see you on the road.